Two giant lava fountains burst from the summit of Kilauea Wednesday morning, one of which may be a new record height for the current eruption that began in December. Episode 34 began after midnight and has already ended, lasting just over six hours. Following a few days of precursory gas pistoning and lava overflows, the more vigorous phase of the episode began at 12.53 in the morning. At first, only the north vent was active, once again erupting lava on an incline. Then, about an hour later, the south vent got involved. Eventually, vertical fountains reached an estimated 1,300 feet high, or 400 meters. The National Weather Service issued a special weather statement warning periods of ashfall were likely over the Ka'u District and Highway 11, southwest of the town of Volcano, pushed by low-level trade winds. Approximately 8.9 million cubic yards, equal to 2.5 billion gallons, were erupted during the episode, coinciding with about 26 microradians of deflationary tilt. The end of the eruption, which came abruptly at 703, occurred with a rapid change to inflation and a decrease in seismic tremor. Although the federal government has shut down, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory was able to distribute a status report at the onset of the episode, followed by a volcanic activity and aviation notice. However, the observatory has not posted any updates to social media platforms since the midnight shutdown began. On the USGS website, a new message posted at the top of the page reads, because of the federal government shutdown, USGS.gov is not being updated, and the agency will not be able to respond to inquiries until appropriations are enacted. Summit webcams remain operational, and the volcano alert level for Kilauea remains at watch.